Sporting the toughest early season schedule in recent memory, USD knew the road to victory would not be easy, but following a 12-10 loss to Illinois State, where they could not find a way to take a late lead, the Yotes are left looking for ways to rise above its 1-5 mark. Numbers for both teams were fairly even the whole game, and a Shamari Lawrence touchdown in the second quarter would give USD the 7-3 lead and some early momentum, but as expected, it turned into a defensive battle down the stretch, one that the Yotes could not overcome in the fourth quarter behind stalled drives, off-target throws from Carson Camp, and a missed 43-yard field goal. That said, the offense has put up just 10 points or less in four of its six games, giving rise to a unit that not only needs to get healthy but find their scoring spark. We've got to score points every opportunity that we had, and we had a couple of opportunities on Saturday to put points on the board that we didn't put points on the board. And in a, in a game uh, like uh, Illinois State that's going to play a very, very defensive uh, game themselves, uh, goals really don't change ever in football. You know, it's, you've got goals that you'd like to be at the end of the season, but the only way you make those end-of-the-season goals is you just – Got to improve every week and and uh, um, and keep building. Up next, USD is back at the Dakota Dome this Saturday for their fourth matchup with a top 15 team this season, hosting Southern Illinois. Kickoff in Vermilion set for 2 p.m.